Hello there, a lot of subscribers asking about the GSM project. They are facing different errors with the project. So in this video, I will explain the possible reasons and the solutions of that problems. And I will show you how to set SMS and make call using SIM 900 module. Now let's get started with this video. You can use any SIM modules for this kind of projects like SIM 800L, SIM 900A, SIM 900, etc. The modules are available in different shapes and different sizes. Here I have a SIM 900A module. Here you can see the antenna, SIM tray and the connecting pins. The antenna should be connected to the module to get maximum signals. You can see a lot of pins available in the module but we need only 6 pins. These two pins are for powering the module. Then you can see the signal power, TX, RX and the ground. You should connect the module power and the signal power pins to the power supply. There are three LEDs in the module, red is for power, green is the signal and the blue is the connection status LED. Maybe your module has only two, doesn't matter that. Next we can insert the SIM in the tray. The SIM should support 2G, this is very important because SIM 900A and 800L only support 2G. Also make sure the SIM has a active plan or balance. Then I inserted the JST connectors. Next we need a microcontroller, doesn't matter which one, I am using Arduino Nano. Additionally we need two push buttons, some jumper wires and a breadboard. First I place the Arduino and the buttons on the breadboard. Now connect the both power pins of module to the Arduino's 5V and ground. Make sure you connected the signal power and the module power pins. Next connect the RX to pin 10, TX to pin 11. If you want connect to any other pins you can connect but remember to change that in code. Then connect one side of the two buttons to pin A0 and A1. Then connect the other end to ground. Now connect the Arduino to computer. You can see the status LED blinks once in a second at first. And you can see it will blinks only once in 3 seconds after connecting with the network. So we can troubleshoot like this. If it is blinking once in every second, you have to check the SIM and the network. This is the code. Here you can see the defined RX and DX pin. Here you need to put your phone number with country code. Remember, this is the number that you want to get call or receive message, not the number of the SIM that we inserted in the SIM module. Here you can customize the message that you want sent when pressing the button. After uploading the code to Arduino, in the serial monitor, you can see these commands and finally the initiated successfully message. Now you are ready to go. If the serial monitor shows only 80 continuously, that means your wiring has some problems. Now you can see the working of this project. We can make the call and send message by pressing the buttons. We can replace these buttons with the different sensors like LPG, PAR, etc. I have already made those projects, so please check if you are interested. You can download the complete code of this project from the video description. You can comment any doubt if you have. So that's all about today. Hope I help in some way. If yes, help me too by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.